So I'm going to get in there with them. I think I'll also deepen our friendship with them because, you know, close proximity with with them will probably develop a deeper relationship, uh, an owner to pet relationship. So here we go. Here it is. The new monstrous habitat for the wasps. Introducing them didn't go as smoothly as possible. I almost died. But now they've been in there for about two weeks and they're settled in. We've been keeping the habitat around 85 degrees, if you can see there. There's a little wasp checking out the, th the temperature as well. And we have the nest installed in the back there on some wood, as you can see. These wasps usually like to build their nest on some porous material such as wood like this. And we have honey there. You'll see one's eating it right now. Now I know there's a lot of confusion on what these paper wasps actually eat. And just to clarify, the adults do not eat protein. They kill insects and digest the insects just so they can regurgitate them to their larvae. The larvae are the ones that eat the insect protein. And they live off of sweet stuff like nectar or the crazy thing is these wasp larvae give off saliva that's sweet. And so these adult wasps actually eat the saliva of their babies. It's really, really weird. And so you might wonder like are these wasps actually taking care of their babies because they they care about them or are they taking care of them because they they just want sweet nectar in return because the babies give off the the sweet saliva after they've been fed <laughs> so are wasps evil to the core or do they actually care about their young comment below what you think <laughs> So I have a small heater down there that that's providing the heat. Now as you can see, a lot there's quite a few wasps that have actually died. And I'm not sure why, they just did, and so that's pretty pretty sad. Um, but there's still a good amount that are alive. And I have a fan right there in the corner that's circulating warm air. That right there is the thermostat. You don't see the display, but it's it's what's regulating the, the heater down there. And so the fan is pumping warm air throughout the whole habitat so that we have a consistent temperature throughout the whole thing. Up there is a light that I used to have on a fish tank that actually gives off some good radiation that, I forget what it's called, but it even helps plants grow and stuff. So it's, it mimics the, the rays of the sun. But yeah, this, this habitat is pretty, pretty cool. It's so big, like I can actually fit in there. I think I'm gonna get in there, that would be pretty cool. But I want to keep all kinds of creatures in here. And because the cool thing is it can be 32 degrees outside and it'll be a nice 85 degrees in this, this baby right here. Now what this is is a forensic evidence cabinet. I got it off of an auction site. The government was getting rid of old equipment so they sold this to me for really cheap. Fingerprint rat laboratory. So this is this is professional grade equipment. Has really nice seals, airtight, really good handles that make sure the that seal all the way through. A good filter there so that there can be some air going through, but it it makes sure the wasps don't get out. So I've realized like if I'm gonna keep these wasps enclosed for their entire lives, I have to do them a favor and actually like prove that I'm willing to do the same thing. I don't think it's right to have pets and put them through something that you yourself would not be willing to go through. So I'm going to get in there with them. I think I'll also deepen our friendship with them because, you know, close proximity with with them will probably develop a deeper relationship, uh, an owner to pet relationship. So I'm going to hop on in and see if we have some quality time with them. All right, here we go.
So I don't want them to get mad because this is their new home, you know? I don't want to be like the person who takes over their house. I just want to be part of the housewarming party, you know? So here we go. So far, they're in the back, and there's a couple up here in the corner. A couple up here in the corner, but uh, I don't think they're too mad. So I'm just going to get in, you know? No problem. Here we go. So keep my eye on them. Kind of rocking it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, there's like six up there. Oh crap. Here let me let me show show you guys. There's a couple up there. There I don't know what they're doing up there. They might try to build a nest of their own. But then the others are right here. See look, it's good. No problem. Alright, so I'll just close the door to keep it hot. Guys, I'm realizing that my channel has like the best comments ever. You seriously write some really genuinely funny stuff. So, if you think that I should make a reaction video to your guys' comments, comment below. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a like on this video. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Also, yesterday, for those who don't know, I saved an owl. So go check out that video right here, right here, I don't know, here, here on the screen. Go check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. See you soon.